Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Today I have a new set of ephemera from Calico Collage. It's called Heart Layer Cards. Basically, it is the elements that you can cut and then layer up to make your own little card. You get a sheet of all of these hearts. So that is 10 hearts right there that you can fussy cut in various shapes and sizes. You get a couple of pages, eight to be exact, of these, what I call the second layer, because the first layer, if you're working from the top going down, would be the heart. This would be the second layer. She also gives you some words. And then here is the bottom layer. By the way, these designs that you're seeing in the background, those are designs that I hand drew and I shared them with Norella so she could use them as a background. Well, let me get these cut out and let's make something. I fussy cut out the elements. By the way, remember, even though I'm showing you a digital download, take the idea and look at what you already have. Maybe you already have a bunch of scratches scrapbook paper. You could doodle a heart and make a template and trace that out. You can make gel prints or you could do mop-up papers from spraying Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. I just want to give you some ideas that'll springboard you into creating, okay? So what I'm going to do next is I'm looking at these images and again these are some that I hand drew that Norella colorized and used as layers and then I'm going to pick up some of these cards and I think I'm going to put together wonky not necessarily straight on top of each other and I'm just grabbing a couple of the hearts maybe I'll do a smaller one on this one I have some uh, what is this lace flat lace work that was avocado dyed it was given to me i thought that would be kind of pretty laid on there uh, this says light of my heart so i'm just going to kind of position these the way that i think that i want and then i'm going to look to see what other embellishments that i want to add with these i got out a page out of an old bible the Bible had been damaged, there were pages torn out of it, and so I feel that this is a good way to recycle those and use them as artwork. So I tore about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter width. I have a ruler that has a metal edge, and I find that if I lay it flat, then I can rip the paper. So that's what I did down the edges, and I think I kind of like this so far. So I'm going to go in and grab some more of these pieces of paper and kind of get those ready to go. I'll add some distress inks to them. Okay, I think I've got the papers pretty much ready. I'm going to grab one of these and let's just get started. So I think what I want to do is I want to glue this little scrap of paper down. I have a tendency to put something like this on the left hand side of my page it's just what I do do you okay I think what I'll do is kind of put it at a little bit of an angle across here and I'll just use some Aline's tacky glue and glue this into place then I've got the hearts so I'm going to lay those out the way that I think I want them it kind of overlapping I'm trying to decide if I want them twisted maybe a little bit twisted because we'll put this flower down here. So I'm going to glue these down. Now I printed the hearts and cards on a cardstock. It's linen. It's a 60 pound cardstock. You could do these top layers on just copy weight paper and then make the one page in the back on a cardstock if you like that thickness. Or you could do it all on the copy weight or do it like I did on the um, cardstock. I think I'll go ahead and glue down this little flower here in the corner. So I'm just going to add little dots of glue and then maybe we'll put a heartbeat. I'm going to angle it just a little bit across there because I am going to angle it on the base card. Now, before I glue this card down, I want to wrap some ribbon around it. So I'm looking here, I'm trying to decide, do I want the teal or the pink? I think I'm gonna go with the teal. I've got this really narrow ribbon. I have a bunch of it in my stash. 
So what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of a tail here and start on one side and go across. Come down. And then back around again. And let's tie a little bow. I'm going to tie it where it's intersecting here. So I'll just tie it a little knot. Now this isn't glued down, so I can look at this and make adjustments. I'm kind of seeing, do I want to bring this down just a little bit? Maybe trim this piece. All right, I think I like that. And then I'll just glue these together. You know what, in fact, I think what I may do is I'll put a little dab of glue on the back and let's stitch around this a little bit. I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and stitch around that outside edge. So I'm over here at my sewing machine. It's just an electronic machine that I picked up several years ago. There's lots of options out there if you're looking for a sewing machine. I do recommend you go to a local sew center or sewing machine sales shop. That way they can show you all the features. This one has electronic stitch settings, so mine has set for 2.0 and 2.0. I have regular thread, regular needle, and we're just doing a zigzag stitch. So I'm just going to start up here at the corner and then kind of go around. And that's what it looks like stitched. We'll pull it over here so you can see a little. So there it is stitched together and then I have some bling here. I think I'll grab one of these. So I just added a couple of little dots of bling. Well I'm going to work on the rest of these and I'll show you what they all look like and when I get done. Back over the sewing machine, I just want to mention too that if you have old thread, it will break and cause you all kinds of sewing issues. So I do recommend that you get new thread. And again, it's just regular thread, regular needle. I'm using black because I think it shows up really well. Some of these I didn't put the ribbon on just so that I could show you the difference. I am going to go ahead and add the bling and then we'll look at each one of these. So I was thinking that this would be a really cute challenge for the February challenge in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. And it doesn't mean you have to use this digital file figure out what you have in your stash to make your own layered heart journal cards and this is what we'll do for the february challenge inside the friendly junk journal people facebook group you can check that out in our group under the events and there's no fee for participating just come in be a member of our group and then share a photo if you have a video share the video of you making your own version of these layered journal cards. They don't have to be necessarily Valentine's themed. I figure these are just more of love and happiness, not necessarily Valentine's. I do know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, except when I'm on vacation. I will be gone for a couple of weeks, the end of January and the 1st of February. But the rest of the time I am live. The other times that I'm not live, it will be a recorded video. It'll be a tutorial and you can come during the live uh, time for the debut. It'll be a premiere video, so it'll be called on YouTube. And what does that mean? Well, you can come and hang out in the chat with others and watch as I create. So you can chat with others and fellowship, make some new crafty friends and enjoy the tutorial while I speed through whatever the project is. All right, so let's look at these. So here are the cards that I put ribbon around. I, I guess I was 
stuck on the teal ribbon I used it more often and I think it kind of stands out a little bit but I did the pink on this blue flower or blue flower blue heart and then over here I didn't put the ribbon and I think they're cute either way so hey see what you can come up with and do share hey you can give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends of course use the comment box down below for comments of what you liked about this video and of course if you have any questions please feel free to ask if you make one of these come on over to facebook and find me at linda israel or you can find me in the facebook group friendly junk journal people the links are down below and let's see what else uh, check out calico collage and her beautiful images she's got another set of papers that match this in fact she's got a kit that's called victorian rose and these all match that color scheme so you can blend them together if you like all right everybody thank you again for watching i greatly appreciate each and every one of you have a fabulous day and get out there be creative bye